When you think about the future of aerospace, your mind might go someplace big. Taking a commercial flight to Mars at the speed of light, commuting to work on a passenger drone, or living in an airship the size of a small city. All good ideas, albeit a bit far-fetched. So then, what if I told you the real future of aerospace? It's happening right now, and it's all about, well, you. For the past couple of years, the world has been abuzz with news that we may be getting closer to commercial space travel. Private space companies seem to be breaking barriers every week, getting us closer to the dream of spending your holiday orbiting the Earth. Yes, that is one vision of the future of flight, but there are other huge steps in the world of aerospace that are being taken to help improve holidays down here on Earth. The future, in the next five or six years, you're going to see a lot more tiny features on aeroplanes that the normal person in the street wouldn't appreciate. But they make a huge difference to both the emissions of an aircraft in terms of noise and fuel burn. And generally it's sort of it's going to be a more a drive towards a more sustainable future in aviation because the emissions that you're going to put into the atmosphere, the drive to reduce that is going to be absolutely critical. The future of aerospace is dependent on protecting our planet and the people that live here. That's why there is a push for changes, big and small. From hybrid planes that use both electric and traditional fuel sources to propel aircraft through the air, to new winglet designs that help increase fuel efficiency, even a little bit. We've experienced a turn towards sustainable energy on the ground, either in our cars or in our homes, so why not in the air? The future of aerospace might also mean not sitting in an airport all day. So the future of airlines, aircraft, in the commercial world is all about getting people efficiently from point to point. So we're finding that we're improving our technologies on the flight deck to enhance the, the capabilities to getting an airplane in and out of airfields, sometimes when the weather is poor. And in the future, when you arrive at your destination, you won't even feel like you've just flown halfway across the world. Boeing, for example, has uh, led the drive to uh, reduce the cabin altitude so that instead of being at the top of an 8,000 foot mountain you're sitting at 5,000 feet it doesn't sound that much of a difference but believe me on a you know an eight hour journey you're gonna feel more human when you get there it's all these small changes that the average traveler may never notice the price of your ticket may go down a little because a new lighter plane is using less fuel to get you where you need to go you'll notice fewer planes flying overhead because they're too quiet to draw your attention you'll wake up from a cross-country flight feeling refreshed because the cabin lights have synced up with your diurnal clock many people think the future of aerospace will be big bold steps to take us beyond what we thought was capable and it will be but first, aerospace is gonna make your journey more comfortable and try and help the planet along the way. But don't worry, you may still get that space vacation to Mars. This is the Farnborough International Air Show, one of the biggest air shows in the world, and a place that is as connected to flying and aeronautics as any other place on Earth. And over 100 years later, it is still synonymous with flight. It's a celebration of flying. And as I drove in today, I saw people already lined up with their cameras ready to take uh, pictures of these aircrafts. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more videos.